Deep within the glacial basin, there lies a cave only accessible by Spy Pangolin, which hides a single canister of Enzyme 42 Cure produced by a Sea Emperor Leviathan. This container was hidden here by Sam Ayu, Robin Ayu's sister, as a backup for her plan to blow up the entrance to the frozen Leviathan cave, which she hoped would cut off the sampling of the Kara present on the Leviathan's body. I don't really understand her motivations in doing this, instead of just using the Enzyme Cure, it's another thing that doesn't really make sense as a result of Subnautica Below Zero's story change, but I'll save that for another video. Following Sam's accidental death, this Enzyme 42 antidote is used by the player to cure the frozen Leviathan in order to eliminate Altera's only source of the Kara bacterium, which they were dangerously experimenting on in the Omega Lab. However, once the Enzyme Cure is collected from its hiding place using a spy pangling, a new blueprint is added to your PDA named the Antidote, which has puzzled many players including myself at one point in time. How can you craft Enzyme 42? Is that even possible? The recipe for crafting the cure is a single cross-based plant, as well as a single fevered pepper, which also brings up the question, if these two plants can be combined to create the Enzyme 42 cure, do they possess Kara curing properties? Could they have been the reason Marguerite Maida was able to survive the Kara bacterium? Could they have even been the reason Sector Zero was able to survive the lethal disease? Well, seeing that I've already made a video covering how Marguerite Maida could have survived, and that the next theory video explaining Subnautica Below Zero's plot holes will be covering how Sector Zero could have survived, I think it's very important for me to cover this now. Although it truly would be convenient for fevered peppers and frost faced plants to have some sort of crew carrying capabilities, I simply don't think this is the case. Despite a whole lot of you mentioning this theory as a possibility, that may explain Marguerite and Sector Zero surviving, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. And I have a theory which I think explains these questions a lot better. So without any further ado, let's get into it. First off, I think it's important to make clear the reason the craftable Enzyme 42 antidote was put into the game in the first place. The ability to craft the antidote was initially added for the sole purpose of preventing players from essentially softlocking the Sam side story by accidentally losing the antidote used to cure the frozen Leviathan. Even though it might be unlikely for this to happen, Unknown Worlds still didn't want those who were unfortunate enough to lose it or misplace it to miss out on half their game's story, so they implemented the ability to craft it in order to prevent that. It was never implemented or meant for anything lower related at all, so it wouldn't really make sense for this small addition just added to prevent a potential soft lock for a small number of players to be the crowning reason why Marguerite Maida and the entirety of Sector Zero were able to survive the Kraw. It really doesn't make sense to me. But if you're still not convinced, here's my explanation as to how you were able to craft Enzyme 42 in Subnautica Below Zero. In order for us to do that, we first have to answer another question you may have, which is, if you can simply craft Enzyme 42, why couldn't you craft it in Subnautica? Why couldn't the architects have simply crafted it in Sector Zero using the two necessary plants and then use it to save their species? Well, as it turns out, the answer is actually quite simple. You can't craft it until you know its exact makeup. Just like any blueprint, you need to know exactly what it's made up of, its exact molecular structure in order to construct it. In both Subnautica games, you scan fragments in order to know exactly what you need, all the necessary materials to build something, and with the Enzyme 42 cure, you have to get an actual sample of it before you can craft it, which is why you can't craft it in Subnautica since most of the game you don't have access to it, and once you do, there's no real reason to craft it, so the developers never added an option to. With the precursors, it's the same deal. They couldn't have fabricated a fully functional enzyme cure until they had a sample of it. And if you remember, the adult Sea Emperor Leviathan present in Subnautica didn't produce a version of Enzyme 42 fully capable of curing the Kara, so they couldn't have just fabricated that and used it to cure themselves. I suppose they could have crafted the diluted version of the enzyme and used it to keep the crater alive, but since they knew their bodies were going to perish, they likely decided that the pipe system would be a better, longer lasting solution. Now that we understand all that, let's move on to the actual recipe of the antidote. Do fevered peppers and frost faced plants actually have Kara curing properties? Well, no. They almost definitely do not. You see, the ingredients of something almost always don't have the same properties as what they produce. And even if fevered peppers and frost faced plants did have some sort of Kara curing capabilities, the architects surely would have discovered this and used it as a cure. So this basically eliminates the possibility, as the alien race would have surely scoured Sector Zero for something capable of curing the Kara, which also means there has to be another explanation as to how Marguerite Maida and Sector Zero were able to survive. I've already made a video discussing how Marguerite Maida could have survived and I'm working on making a video discussing how Sector Zero survived right now. So if you're curious about those questions, I'll put the links to the videos in the description. So anyways, how can the enzyme be crafted? Well, once you know the exact molecular structure of the enzyme, just like anything else you fabricate, you can simply rearrange some sort of organic matter with the right ingredients, which in this case is fevered peppers and frost-faced plants, into the Enzyme 42 cure. 
here. The ingredients don't have the same function as the product, but they can be rearranged or fabricated into something with that function. This is the future, and humans clearly have superior technology to what we have now, so this is really not at all that far-fetched. In conclusion, the ingredients to the antidote don't have any Karak curing properties and can't be used to explain Sector Zero or Marguerite surviving the disease, and the enzyme is just crafted by rearranging organic matter into its exact molecular structure, using the necessary ingredients provided by the specific plants in the recipe. This explanation really makes a whole lot of sense, and I honestly think it completely answers these questions. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have any questions about Subnautica or Subnautica Below Zero that you'd like me to answer in another video. Are there any other plot holes you want me to cover? Did I miss anything in this video? Do you have any questions or concerns? Please let me know. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. It's free and it helps me out a ton. Huge thanks to my patrons over at Patreon, Baby Yoda, Moon Lord, Cybot, John, and Skeptic. If you want to be awesome, become a patron and support today, and I will see you guys in the next video.